There's Bill getting his horse ready. Oh yeah, yeah, getting the horses all ready. Good morning. Good morning. Snoopy blitzing. This is the last horse to get saddled up. Shane's gonna toss the saddle up there for Bucko, dad's horse. He's gonna be a pack horse today. Well, this is home for the boys for the rest of the day. Changing ridges. Yeah, this is home. We're just at the outer limits of our range, but this will work. There are two bulls right over there somewhere. What do you think of this? I love it. See, he's just feeding. He ain't going anywhere. We got, we got seven days. Oh. Yeah, that's not, that's not a very good shot. Can't see what happens or nothing. I don't. I say we don't shoot him there. I'm just looking for his horns. Oh, he's coming back this way. <laughs> Look, he's moving around quite a bit. He's got to hit one of them bigger meadows. If I can study the ass end, I'll take the shot. That's not a very good shot though. going up. There he goes. Want me to shoot him? No. No. Alright. That's a good shot too. 
Turn out well or what? Yeah. Hiking over to get Stormy's bull. This is the one we seen the other day. He kind of went around the side hill. We're having trouble finding him. So he pulled the far ridge where he could look down in this timber because it's where he thought we was. Pretty soon he found him. Okay, we're almost here. Shane beat us here. Started skidding on it a little bit. So we got him stopped. That's the red horn bull. He's a lot uh, bigger than my spike the other couple years ago. That's the red horn bull. Whew. Thanks guys. Thanks for coming over here, Shane. Thanks, yep. Bill, John. Holy moly, they're big. So where was you at on them rocks over there? Straight across? Straight across. John, he was over there. On those rocks. We knew that bull was over here. We we're just trying to find vantage points where we can see in here and find him. So, I mean, he was standing up above this stump right here. And I was on the other side of this big log. Oh, really? Cool. And then he came down to here. Well, he's actually five by five. Does that still count? Yeah, it counts. Small five, but I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, well, tell us what. Tell us about what happened. Then we'll uh, get to work. We seen this a couple. This guy a couple days ago. Couldn't get a shot on him. 
And then we figured well, we could. It was just not yeah, a good it's shot. A little windy. And so that was a couple days ago, actually. So we figured we tried the same valley again. He never, never showed up again. So we roll. I rolled over here, thinking he went over here. So I went to the opposing slope, and uh, I was actually going to hunt on over the slope and just take my time looking over here. And I just happened to sit down and rest. And this guy popped out about six, uh, six fifty, six fifty-five, something like that. And uh, twenty-eight nozzer got him done. 180 burgers. You always got to put the one burger part in there. I know. But I'm happy. We were getting kind of depressed there for a little while. Never get depressed. The next step, you never know what's going to happen. But it happens fast, I can tell you that. Okay, well, let's get let's get some uh, still pictures and then. Cool. Then. Uh, Get, get to work. Nice. Took teamwork because uh, Shane had to, had to direct Shane over to where the bull was. Yep. We'd, we'd been a hard time finding him. Yeah, he had to turn his little headlight on and then I could I could see the headlight and he tracked him on in over here. So, I appreciate you, Shane. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. It's teamwork. Now we have about a 200 yard pack to the trail. More than that. Well, maybe a little more. <laughs> We, I think we could ditch him at the trail and bring the horses on up to that point and on the horses they go and we'll just leave him there and go back to hunting then come we'll up do that and, too. come up and get him later <sighs> how many pack saddles we got two two panniers I don't know you're gonna get this whole thing on one horse I doubt it no I mean stormy's walking don't it yeah I'm walking I'm fine with it <laughs> So we'll see if we can get on one. Might, might be two of us walking. <laughs> but it's not that mm -hmm. far. It's only three mi two and a half miles, three miles, something like that. So. Okay, let's get to work. All right. Zane. Hey, Shane. That's sucking hind tip, buddy. That's sucking hind tip. I know. I've only been hunting elk for five years, though. I'm older than you, aren't I? Or are you older than me? No, you're like a month older than me, aren't you? I think so. 35. Aren't you? Aren't you? February. When? No, I'm older than you. I'm February. Oh, yeah. Are you February? Wait, when's yours? February what? Oh, yeah. He's February what? 22nd. George Washington, baby. I'm February 14th, Valentine's Day. Mine's better. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> okay, nice. And I held, listen. He's a stoner. I did the ballistic oh, calculator in the scope. Yeah, uh, that's one of his biggest. And I, and I gauged his neck. And I gauged right. him. Elk cutting is so hell. much yeah. fun. My brother, so I held my brother like was in the. Two inches into his back. Yep. Yep. Okay, me and me and John spotted some elk over on Stormy Side, and he won't—he don't have his radio on. Oh, I can't get a hold of him.
Yeah, I got them on video now. Okay, there's Shane and Stormy working up on the bulls. I don't see any bulls now, do you? Yeah, they're up the hill by that log that's laying down. Oh, there they are. All right, what's the one off to the right in the trees? See the log laying down? Yeah, I see it. I see the one. That one's taking off. Oh, there he goes. What happened? He's down. Shane's first. Yeah, your first branch fall, dude. Just call Shane the elk hammer. He got a, he got a spike last year, but this year he got he got something a little bigger. Yeah. We'll roll him over there and see what he got. If he's, as long as he doesn't take off down the hill. How do you feel, Shane? Uh, I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> Stormy's 300 Ultra, one shot. Yeah, well, what happened this morning? What did we do? Uh, we climbed the ridge where uh, Stormy had shot his bull the uh, day before yesterday, and we were looking back. And then we had the other two guys, John and Bill, were on the opposing ridge, passing. And I had Turn my radio on. Yeah, we seen them look at us. We yep. glass them and seen them look at something, so we turned the radio on. And uh, they said, hey, you guys got a couple bulls behind you. So we just headed over, or uh, up the ridge and over, and I got a nice, good, clean shot on him. And one shot, one and done. One shot, one kill. <laughs> that is just badass, dude. I'm so happy for you, man. Uh, there's another bull. There's another bull running with him. I, I I don't know if he was bigger or not. I didn't get a good glimpse of him, but yeah, it didn't cool. matter. It doesn't matter. I guess it's a four by five. I thought it was a four. Let's see. It is five. No, he's five on both sides. One, two, three. No, he's four. He's four by yeah, five. Yeah. Four by five. That's nice, dude. He looks a little bit bigger than mine, even. So. Badass, right. dude. Cool. Now. It's not too far from the trail. We're probably, I don't know, 200 yards up, 300 yards. So we're gonna make our way slow. We gotta make another trip.
Oh, two, three hundred yards up there. Tired yet, Shane? Yep. Good job, bud. We made her, though. Down to the trail. That's right. The first load. First branch bull. How do you still feel? Good? Oh, yeah. Tired yet, Shane? Yep. Good job, bud. We made her, though. Down to the trail. That's right. The first load. First branch bull. How do you still feel? Good? Oh, yeah. Because the boys finally got in. Poor little Tanner has to pack everything. I think you overloaded your horse. What's that? I didn't overload him. Made him a tough horse. Awesome. Finally got a branch ball. Good for you, Shano. Hey Shane, a little bit bigger than that spike, isn't it? Just a little. <laughs> I think Tanner probably thinks so too. Take four on it. Hit the other. I, I saw Bill didn't get on video, but I saw that bull was running. Well, I was, hey, I was on the big bull with the camera. We never seen him. You guys could see him, we couldn't see him at all. He was behind trees. Don't make any difference, but I think you see this bull here. When I was watching through the scope. I couldn't tell if he was a spike yeah. or what, because I, I could see he had something. The yeah, other one. We went up, and then Shane was above me. He was up above, about and 50 yards. I was below him. He says he sees us. So I plugged my ear, right and he shot. Side. We never did see the other one until after he shot, and, and then the bull left that way through the trees, and yeah. I could see him. But that was all. What, we what did it look like? Dark horn. I mean, white. it's pretty lot bigger. Like. I, I, I don't don't know. He was dark horn. That's all I could really see. Because. Through my 14 power scope, I could not see the size of this bull, but I could see the other bull plain. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Oh well. I think this is the three we've been looking for. This is, we haven't seen this one. He doesn't have a, no? All the ones we've seen before had forks on both tops. Uh -huh. Down, down. Bill can hear me on the video. Down, bull down. I couldn't see it because once I shot. No, I watched it. He went over the hill. He went down. Down over the hill, and then uh, he was just, he was like kind of like going, oh, oh. And then he kind of stood there for a second. The next thing I know, he just kind of just flipped. He went down, he went head over just tea kettle, and he was done. And then his head was pointing uphill, wasn't it? Yep. Good boy. Good boy, Tanner, you get grain tonight. Stormy gets his pictures, I better Okay, hey Shane. Here. Okay's a lot of work, isn't it? Here. And it Shooting stops, the work begins. Or here. Okay.